welcome to the Video Club's Spotlight number 10. In these spotlights, we feature the creative talents of one or more of our Video Club members. Today, we're going to show you several films based on club members' hobbies and special interests. The first is by club member uh, Sunshine Ludi and involves golf at the Laguna Woods Golf Course and her friends. If you're a golfer, these probably look very familiar. We're out at the golf course enjoying the day, but it wasn't easy to sign up to play. I just set the alarm and get out of bed and drive to the golf course a whole week ahead. We sit in that room and we wait sleepily for the person who runs the golf lottery. We nod at our friends and stare at the wall and hope that we draw a number that's small. A number is printed on a small wooden square that is drawn from a pail they say this way is fair. It was suggested that computers be used instead of the lottery. We are confused. Why must we at 6.30 make a tea time then wait by the window if we miss this deadline? But at the golf course, a fun place to be. out at the golf course enjoying the air and each shot we hit we want to hit square we try to do well we're trying so hard but somehow big numbers show up on our cards we get so disgusted we say i can't win but just then it happens the swing works again a couple good shots, a mighty fine smack was all that it takes to bring us right back. Now on the veranda, the stories we tell. On eight it went left, on nine chipped it so well. Politely we listen so our chance will come to tell our own story. With friends we have fun, we share food and drink a hug or two. We love these golf times with good friends like you. At the golf course, a fun place to be. Oh, at the golf course, these golf times with good friends like you. You too may have a hobby that would make an interesting video. Join the video club and we'll show you how. The next film I took and I was on a photo safari trip in East Africa and I was in this small car, and we were descending down into the Gorongoro Crater. The car stopped, and just off the side, I saw this family of baboons, and I caught them, and that's what this little film is about. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next film we're going to show is a travel or vacation film. It's the kind of thing that you might take your iPhone or your video camera and shoot some footage while you're on your vacation. And when you get home, you think, gosh, I'd like to have those memories that you could show to people and not bore them. So this one's put together by Suzanne Savloff and what she did is she had a, a lot of material, so she only showed part of her Spain trip to keep the total length well, uh, short enough so people wouldn't get bored, and then her husband narrated it. So this is Spain. <music> Hello, this is Stephen Savlov here. I'm going to tell you about Suzanne and my trip to Madrid and Barcelona several, several years ago. Suzanne and I arrived in Madrid in the morning and took a cab to our bed and breakfast, which was in the older part of town. Settling in, we walk through the Plaza Mayor and caught the hop on, hop off bus, which was our habit when we first arrived in a new city and ride the bus several times to get the lay of the land.
After our bus tour, we walked back to our bed and breakfast and stopped in across the street for an early dinner at Posada de la Villa, which was established in 1642 as one of the older establishments for weary travelers. The next day, we had breakfast and then had... Headed to Reina Sofia Museum. Suzanne's favorite artist was Juan Miro, who was born in 1893 and was in the Surrealist movement. His, she really liked his sense of humor. That evening, we took a walk around the area on a chocolate and churros tour. We started out in a large grocery store next to the office where our private tour began. This market had foods from all around the different surrounding areas and contained the many local cheeses and wines. After the grocery store, we stopped in San Gina's chocolate shop. which is the oldest chocolate shop at 100 years old. The chocolate was so thick we had to use a spoon to eat it with, to eat it. It was so filling and delicious, this was actually our dinner. Next we walked around the neighborhood Our guide was an attractive young college student. She was very knowledgeable about the area. We started and stopped at another 100-year-old bakery. Unfortunately, we were, we were too full from the chocolate to try a pastry. They sure look good. The year 2007, but then they changed it and now it's like the main archive where they have open documents. Yes. Next day started with a tour of Montserrat, which is a monastery up in the mountains. We took a bus to the cogwheel train, and then the train took us up to Montserrat, Montserrat, which was very beautiful with a spectacular view of the city of Madrid. That evening, we took a cab to a great Italian restaurant in another part of town.
Food was exquisite and filling. From Madrid, we took the train to Barcelona. And subsequently took a cab to our next bed and breakfast in the Catalonia part of town. Our host, Farron, took us on a tour of the area in his car to see the Tibidabo church up in the hills. Along the way, we saw some beautiful homes, which is one of the wealthiest areas of Barcelona. The church was beautiful on the outside as well as on the inside. After our tour of the church, we drove around to Museo Nacional de Art de Catalonia. The museo has wonderful concerts and productions. Next we travel to the huge port In the evening, we had scheduled a cooking class at the Paella Club. It was great fun. The chef, the chef entertained us as we cooked our vegetarian paella. Others used chicken and or shrimps in their paella.
best part is eating both ours and others at Kaiyori. And we're sent away with recipes and a wonderful evening of meeting people from all around the world. No vacation to Barcelona would be complete without a tour to Basilica Sagrada Familia and Guell Park. We spent a number of hours walking around the Familia and were just too pooped to go to the park. We included some video shot by others. What a wonderful thing to see and look at the Goya art and architecture. So many colors and shapes that were so brilliant to the eye. On our last day in Barcelona, we headed out to the Citadel Park. The park in the middle of Barcelona. As we were leaving the park to head out to the airport, a huge group of pro-Catalonia demonstrators were marching in the streets. We were not aware that the trains, planes, buses, and roads were all shut down. The president and other officers of Catalonia were sent to prison and the protesters were up in arms. We left early the next morning and got to the airport and found the people who were to fly out the previous, previous day had priority. We left Barcelona on our way to Granada and Sevilla.
Perhaps you will join us in our next leg of Spain. Hasta luego! Maybe you have some travel film you've taken in the last five years that you'd like to turn into a, a movie that you can show your friends? Why don't you join the video club and we'll show you how. That completes what we wanted to show you today in spotlight number 10. Stay healthy and we'll see you next time.